Mamuka say, Masquera say, Kamuri may say, Masimbabwins, and now we are Nasi at his school. Peter Jokutamba, Kana, who discusses with Junu Jurukum, she snabbed such a situation in the political Kunika area, Zimbabwe. It looks like uh, I've been watching the whole day the videos that have been circulated and posted all over the internet, and it's so heartbreaking. Kuramba Uchuona, Jurukitika, Zimbabwe at this point. Uh, Zimbabweans are very peaceful people and I can see what the ma protests are quit but they are meant to be very peaceful but Mapurisa are not making it easy. Let's rise my Zimbabweans and continue to go for what we want for. I know you've had enough and I know you have suffered enough and it's time for the change that you need and you have to fight. Mapurisa Arkurovavanu. Hopefully in a way the message will get to them kuti Violence is not the answer. Let's not stop. I have watched several videos of people brutally injured and unfortunately they make it to intimidate people. I don't see why if people are planning to be protesting very peaceful, what is the need here? What is the need? We want this to be peaceful and my Zimbabweans, let's join each other and whether you're in the diaspora, wherever you are. It is important. We want to make sure this country comes back. We are the bread. We were once the breadbasket of Africa and we have totally failed. Our government has failed us. Merely do you see me come here and talk politics in that words you are nasty several times. I had to hold my tears back when I was looking at Jirukitika Kumusha, thinking about the whole family that still reigns in Zimbabwe and all the other people that are suffering. What have we done to deserve this? What have we done, Sema Zimbabweans, to deserve Jirukitika? And why can't our voices be heard? People just want to be heard. They want the change. And pe all people want is a peaceful demonstration. People do not want to fight anyone. So what is the need? And we are human beings and we need to, be, to start fighting, to, be, to start a fight to be treated like humans. It's just very sad. I couldn't hold back my tears and I had to do this to represent myself and the other Zimbabweans in the diaspora. We need to fight. We need to fight. We can't just ignore Jirukitika. It will get worse, but we all need to get together. We need to put the fear aside. We have to take that fear and put it to the side and start fighting for what we want. We are not looking to be violent. Don't be burning places. Don't burn stuff down. Just go and let your voices be heard because it's enough is enough. And the truth of the matter is we have to speak. Somebody has, there has to be a voice somewhere. I just wanted to come out and say, I am with you all Zimbabweans while we are my protest and we are all together. We have to get together and do this. Let's all post my Zimbabwean flags and let's all do the right thing. Because this situation is only going to get worse. We have such a beautiful country and we can't just let things keep going like this. Taka one desire and the amount of people that we are Zimbabwe, if we stop and just be heard and wait for somebody else to do to do it and at this point we are at the point of no return let's get up and fight one way it's just it's only going to help us i just wanted to voice myself and say i am with everybody i am a part of the process no matter where of the protest no matter where we are let's raise the flag and start fighting for this flag to be what it is i'm thankful just for all those that are listening i just wanted to voice myself my heart is in pain i am bleeding i just can't keep up the videos that I have watched are just very sad and gosh we need to stop it we really need to stop and let's fight Zimbabwe let's rise against this violence let's rise about uh, up against brutality someday somebody will listen to us let's rise my family let's bring that country back thank you and I hope we all continue to fight together I love everybody thank you Zimbabweans let's fight together